Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to the Zero Excuses podcast. My name is Kenyon Zitska. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me talk. And I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce the topic for April here, which is engineering your emotions. This topic comes as a result of a request from one of our if and results mastermind members, Dan Bailey. He asked me how we can get ourselves into a peak emotional state, even an alter ego, if you will. And it got me thinking about making this a topic of discussion on the podcast and also in the uh, mastermind for the month of April. But before we get into today's topic, want to quickly let you know that this episode is brought to you by our affiliate sponsor, Doc Parsley Sleep Remedy. Stick around after Stick around at the end. I'll tell you a little bit more about that and how you can take advantage of a 10% offer that they have offered the Zero Excuse community. Also, stay tuned tomorrow. I'll actually be interviewing Doc Parsley himself and not only learn about what goes into the sleep remedy, but some practical tips that you can use to improve your sleep and ultimately improve your life. Anyways, so what I want to talk with you guys about today is kind of give you an overview of why this is important and how I've been able to use this to drive me to take some some action that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to take. So the first two things that you need to know about this topic is that number one that we actually can control our emotions and that number two that it is actually important to control our emotions. So what I want to explain to you guys is exactly how we can take more control over our emotions. 99% of the people that I see walk around in default mode, for for lack of a better term, and let their emotions run them. They allow their emotions and their thoughts to run rampant without intervening and moving themselves or shifting their minds into a better emotional state. And we've also been conditioned to hide our emotions. Uh, you might have grown up being told to hide your emotions or you might have been exposed to highly emotional events whatever it may be we've been conditioned to believe that showing emotion is bad showing any signs of distress or or sadness or whatever it may be is a bad thing and honestly this is something that i have to put effort into doing myself and be super purposeful and i am not perfect either. But but personally, I I thought for the longest time that being level-headed was just how I was and how I needed to be. And for the most part, I think it's benefited me. But I think there are some other situations where showing emotion or more accurately getting myself into a different emotional state would have benefited me. And I recognize now that if I could put a little bit of effort into invoking certain feelings, certain emotions, that I can get myself into emotional state that benefits me and moves me to some pretty, I guess, aggressive actions. But this is all a direct result of what I believe, which kind of leads me into the second part of my discussion today of why it's important that we put some effort into controlling our emotions, not just keeping them in check, but moving ourselves into, like I said, that that peak emotional state that's going to allow us to take the actions we need. And I learned this from one of my mentors, but it is called BEAR, B-E-A-R. Beliefs lead to your emotions, emotions lead to your actions, and actions lead to your result. So if you can... If you can implant the right beliefs and emotions, they're going to allow you to take the actions to drive you to the results that you want, whatever it may be. But just becoming aware of this this fact of beliefs, emotions, actions, results has really been a game changer for me, and I think it'll be a game changer for you guys too. And sometimes I like to throw feeling in between emotion and action because emotion leads to how you feel physically. Anyways, how many times have you actually convinced yourself to do something simply because you don't feel like doing it? I know I sometimes struggle with this. 
your emotions drive your thoughts and ultimately kind of, kind of seduces you into believing the BS story that you tell yourself. So that's why it's important. And there's nothing wrong with not feeling like doing something. Don't get me wrong here. Maybe it isn't in alignment with your goals, your standards, your values, but there's many times when we don't feel like doing something that actually benefits us. So that's what we're going to be talking about this month. We're going to be breaking this down. We're going to be talking about how you guys can become aware of your emotions, become aware of positive emotions, negative emotions, how to reprogram those emotions from negative to positive, so many things. This is going to be a fun topic. I'm really looking forward to breaking this down and helping you guys get into that peak emotional state. So that's where we'll wrap things up today, guys. Before I sign off here, guys, wanted to take a moment to tell you about our affiliate sponsor, Doc Parsley's Sleep Remedy. This is a product that I use every single day and something that I wanted to share with you guys because it has it has had such a profound effect on my life and my quality of sleep. I had to share it with you guys. Sleep Remedy was developed by Dr. Kirk Parsley. He is a former Navy SEAL and former undersea medical officer at Naval Special Warfare Group 1. But to make a long story short here, he developed Sleep Remedy to help his teammates overcome some of the stress and nutritional induced deficiencies that he was finding with them so that they can get a good night's rest and help them reach their maximum potential and perform at their peak. So he's now offering this remedy to the public and you can head on over to docparsley.com and try it out for yourself. He's offered a 10% discount to the Zero Excuses community. You can enter the discount code Zero Excuses, Z-E-R-O-X-C-U-S-E-S at checkout to take advantage of that 10% discount. I highly encourage you guys to give it a try. This stuff is the real deal. It's not like any of those over-the-counter sleep aids that leave you hungover or feeling groggy for the first half of the day. This stuff will get you into a deep, deep night's rest and you wake up refreshed and ready to crush your day.